Hi everyone, this is Alicia Smith from Alicia Smith's Designs and I'm coming on to do a project share. I'm uh, sending Anna from Anna's Wonderland or Memory Decks Obsessed um, a birthday. Um, I'm participating in her birthday challenge. So I wanted to just quickly show you what I made. I'm going to start with this one so we can cut out this glare. Um, these are just some coins that I made. This is the bag topper. Very simple. Just took some uh, hearts, sewed them together, put them on a two-inch piece of paper, rounded the corners, um, took some die cuts from my stash and a sticker from the garden party um, paper pack or the sticker pack. And I'm using garden party because I know that she really, really enjoys, um, really, really enjoys Maggie Holmes. And I wanted to make some coin envelopes. I recycled this piece of vellum and um, this uh, seal from a wedding invitation I received recently. I was like, oh, I'm going to use it. So when she opens it, then she'll get um, some coin envelopes, or I'm sorry, some coin shakers. And that I've just decorated. And I've gifted her some as well that I'll show you here shortly. Um, she asked for a 3D project, um, some embellishments, a chunky charm. You could choose from several things. So I just kind of did whatever I wanted to do. <laughs> and so this is what you get, Anna. So um, I was doing flowers, which you may have seen on my channel earlier. So I gave her some of those flowers and used that. This is um, some trim from the Garden Party uh, sticker pack as well. I stitched around all of the pieces of paper. These are some pieces from Garden Party. Another um, flower, some of those um, little pieces of bling from Stamping Up. Uh, this is the charm. I thought it turned out really well. I used some of my letters. Um, it says smile, obviously. And um, a few beads. I have a, a little I'm, I'm trying to work on my stash and get some wire wrapping done so that all I have to do is pull from it. And then I stitched the top and the back. And then, of course, there's my sticker. Uh, in this front little pocket is um, a little envelope. I'm trying to have a few of these things on hand as well. Just put a sticker there. And I didn't like um, how the corners look, so I just added some Dollar Tree pearls on there and then on the inside are a few of those little coin shakers I was talking about and she can decide how she wants to use those so that's in this um, front pocket here and then I velcro the lid and that's some aggressive velcro that you get from Dollar Tree let me tell you and then she of course wanted a memory dex because she's memory dex obsessed and excuse the um, noise while I open that up. So this is what I created. And I took a several um, pieces of the ephemera from the garden party um, paper pack. And again, some of the flowers I'd been working on, some chipboard pieces, some bling, working on that layering. Um, another flower and this was gifted to me in a swap this piece here and I'm sorry I don't remember who gave it to me, but it's really cute um, And this is some um, Vellum and one of the tags and then just a really cute little um, Piece of um, a charm that says love and um, some of the Snow I got like a gigantic roll of this snow trim from Walmart on clearance after Christmas about two years ago and I'm so grateful I did because I use this quite a bit so you'll see that a lot and then I layered this this round or this oval piece is a die um, I think it's a Sizzix die that has just this little stitch detailing and then I took um, a piece of paper and made it a memory dex and so it's just pretty clean on the back and pretty chunky i'd say stands up pretty well and i layer it probably four times that kind of thing so that's the memory decks and then uh, i wanted to make her a card so i i created this um policy envelope when i first got garden party and i never gave it away i didn't really know if i liked it even that much 
But I think for this, it's really turning out cute. These were some um, rolled flowers that I did a while ago as I was trying to learn how to do them. Don't know if they're amazing. I'm not sure how it's even supposed to look, but that's how mine look. And this piece, uh, I realized that it's silver and everything else is gold, but it was on here. So it's going to be okay, I think. And then I decided like, oh, I need to make her a birthday card. So I did. So I like how this turned out. Oop. A little card fell out like how it turned out I used um, the happy birthday um, lettering and shadow pieces that came in a spellbinders birthday or spellbinder spellbinders club of the month kit a couple months ago maybe and this is of course some of the paper I just um, did some doodling to create a frame there it's pretty simple but I do like these flowers I may make some more of those and then I left the blunt, the inside pretty blank so she can do whatever she'd like to do with that and then added another flower there and then just made her a little quick little HBD kind of thing. And this is the back of the um, policy envelope. So it came in handy. I was glad that I had it. So that's it. I just wanted to share what I've been working on. I'll just kind of stand it up here. So you can see it. Um, I like how everything turned out. Hope she, hopefully she will enjoy it as well. Happy birthday, Anna. I hope you have a great birthday. And you are certainly having quite the celebration. So congratulations to you for all of the participation. And that'll do it for me. Thanks for tuning in. See you the next time.